So now that we're able to change between scenes, or at least kind of set it up in a test sort of way, let's start dealing with the score. So I'm gonna go to level one, and I wanna make it so that whenever you click on one of these, um, that you can change what the score value is. And these, because they're not buttons, um, we are gonna do something a little bit different for the on-click events. And you can use the on-click events if you um, put colliders on the objects. So we need to put colliders on these cubes. So 2D box colliders on both of them. And then I'm going to make a script, new script that um, is called score changer. All right, so First thing we want to do is make a public int score change amount. This will be the amount that each button uh, changes the score by when you click on it. And then we don't need either of these. We're going to make a function um, that is on mouse down. So this is one of those ones that Unity has that keep that. This is a Unity function. So whenever you click on something that has a collider on it, it calls this. Um, so first, let's just make sure that's working. Um, hello. Uh, so sometimes when I do this, I forget to put the collider on the object. So I always like to do a debug just to make sure it's working. So I put this on the green one. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, cool. Script is working. I'm going to put it onto the red one as well. There we go. Green gets a positive one. Red gets a negative one. And then what we want to do is whenever we click on it, we want to go talk to the game manager. So we're going to find the game management dot manager. And then we're going to call a function that is uh, change score. And we'll change it by the score change amount. So this function doesn't exist yet. We have to make it. So let's go here. Make a public void. It has to be public for us to call it from other places. Change score. Write an int that is change amount. And then we will take our int score. And we will say score plus equals change amount. Okay, so let's save this. Um, what we'll also do here is debug.log score. Okay, so every time we click on one of these, it will change the score by however much we said, and then it will print out the score. So let's test. One, two, three, there we go. Down, down, down. Okay, cool. Looks like it is working. Let's do the same thing in level two. Make sure to save. So first we will add a box collider to both of these, and then we will also add the score changer to both of them. So notice I both selected and I dragged it over, and it puts it on both. So Green gets a one, red gets a minus one. Okay, so hypothetically the same thing, but always good to test. There we go. So kind of hard to click, which I guess is the goal. There we go, it's working. Okay, so let's set, um, a scene of um, uh, if scene um, equals one and score is greater than or equal to ten, then we will next scene. So if you get a score of ten, you're gonna go to the next scene. And then um, else if scene 
equals 2, and this 4 is greater than 20, then we will next scene. So we're setting the win conditions here. So first scene you have to reach 10, second scene you have to reach 20. Um, okay, so let's see if that will work. So I'm going to go back to scene number one. We should probably do something to make sure that you can tell scene one and scene two apart. Let's go to the canvas and change the text color to something different. So blue is two. There we go. Um, okay. Play. Wow, so fun, this game. 10, and there we go. Still going. Should have changed scenes. Didn't change scenes. Why not? Oh, I know why. Because uh, we have to start playing it at the start screen. Place bar. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Level two. Yeah. Are we clicking, 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 clicking. We play the game. Okay, cool. And I can loop back around to the front. We want to make it so that if you loop back around to the front, we also want to change the score back to zero. Um, okay, so we have our score working. Now we need to uh, make it so that the buttons on the start and the end screen and then the text work. So we're going to do that in our next video. But just to recap, in order to so we are carrying the score amount from scene to scene as we play. And the way that we're doing that is that the game manager is the script that is like holding the score. And the score changer is literally just talking to the game manager and saying, hey, that score thing that you have, you need to change it. So the score changer is not actually holding any of the data. It's the game manager that holds the data. So um, there's an important distinction here. This is doing the action. This is holding the data. All right, we're going to connect up our buttons and um, do the UI text in the next video.